quicker than the texture of room time can stay aware of it, and it'll simply tear. I'm alarmed by this. Our night sky is rapidly changing at the moment, and in a few decades, if not years, it may no longer be visible at all. Space experts overall are sounding the caution. Recently, experts like Neil deGrasse Tyson have confirmed that Polaris is about to explode, and the story behind it is very scary. Polaris, known as the North Star, has for quite some time been a consistent in our night sky, filling in as a pivotal reference point for stargazers, guides, and space experts. Notwithstanding, this could before long change, adjusting our night sky and cosmic estimations endlessly. We should dig into the meaning of this danger and its suggestions for us all. Come along with us as we unravel Polaris' final narrative. For quite a long time, Polaris has directed sailors and stargazers the same, standing firm on a loved foothold as a directing light. Navigation has relied on its constant presence in the night sky. However, this soundness may before long be disturbed. A research paper presented by the prestigious Royal Astronomical Society in September 2023 cast doubt on this celestial luminary's fate. Polaris is near the very edge of detonating, possibly evaporating from the night sky for eternity. Before we investigate the outcomes of this disclosure, we should see more about Polaris. Polaris, also known as the North Star or the Pole Star, is unique because it is so close to the North Pole of the universe, which is almost directly above Earth's North Pole. In the northern sky, it appears to be nearly still. Polaris shines as a moderately bright yellow-white supergiant star in the constellation Ursa Minor, or the Little Dipper. It is much larger and brighter than our sun. It's anything but a lone star, yet part of a complicated triple star framework with Polaris AA and Polaris stomach muscle shaping a parallel pair, while Polaris B circles around them. Gravitational forces are generated by these stars' interactions, which also have an impact on their behavior and orbits. Variations in the brightness of the stars or patterns of pulsation can result from any disruptions in these interactions. Be that as it may, the specific instruments behind these cooperations stay indistinct. The light we see today originated more than three centuries ago from Polaris, which is 323 light years away from Earth. As a result, we wouldn't see Polaris explode until over 300 years later if it did. It's even conceivable that Polaris has previously detonated, and we're yet to observe the light from that occasion. The North Star has had a significant cultural, navigational, and symbolic significance throughout history. Ancient navigators relied on its stability and fixed position to guide them across oceans and land. Polaris was a symbol of constancy and direction because it remained constant in the midst of a changing night sky. For space experts, Polaris filled in as a critical reference point, helping with the investigation of heavenly movements and variable stars. As a Cepheid variable star, its occasional varieties in splendor have given important experiences into heavenly properties and the idea of variable stars. Instrument calibration and the calculation of cosmic distances were also greatly aided by this property. We were able to easily anticipate the star's behavior because these pulsations followed a pattern that was typical. However, Polaris has deviated from normal behavior recently. This anomaly in its throb cycle has bewildered stargazers, prompting a nearer assessment of this heavenly irregularity. Polaris has begun exhibiting erratic cycles of dimming and brightening instead of its usual predictable pattern. The possibility that the star is nearing the end of its life is now causing concern among scientists. This lines up with ways of behaving normally saw in stars approaching their end. The steady extension of Polaris throb period, which was once steady, can be credited to collaborations inside its star framework. The pulsation duration has increased by 4 to 5 seconds annually, which may seem insignificant but has significant implications. A few cosmologists propose that gravitational communications between the Polaris stars could be causing these variances in its barometrical circumstances, straightforwardly influencing its throb designs. Others, on the other hand, are more worried because they think the star is about to explode. The likenesses between Polaris' way of behaving and that of Betelgeuse, one more prominent star in the Orion heavenly body, are striking. The two stars have shown baffling anomalies in their iridescence, raising worries about likely blasts. Before reaching the end of their life cycles, Cepheid stars in their twilight stages frequently exhibit such irregularities. 
While NASA has raised additional concerns regarding Betelgeuse, Polaris has not yet received the same level of official attention. A Cepheid star goes through several phases as it gets closer to the end of its life cycle. These phases include the main sequence, the red giant phase, and the supernova explosion. Scientists predict that Polaris has entered the stages of helium depletion typical of Cepheid stars nearing their end based on its irregular pulsations. Although definitive indications of Polaris's approaching supernova remain inconclusive, the patterns of Polaris behavior that correspond to those of Cepheid stars in their twilight phases are consistent with these irregularities. In order to comprehend Polaris's fate, astronomers are diligently examining these irregularities. If Polaris somehow happened to go cosmic explosion, it would probably be a dynamite occasion in our sky, possibly eclipsing the moon and becoming one of the most brilliant articles noticeable for days, weeks, or even months. Our perception of familiar constellations like the Big Dipper and Ursa Minor, of which Polaris is a part, may be temporarily altered by its drastically altered appearance. Given Polaris' mass and distance from us, the Earth probably wouldn't be harmed at all if it exploded. While a Polaris blast probably won't be really that outwardly breathtaking of Betelgeuse, it might in any case be noticeable to the unaided eye for a drawn-out period and surpass close by stars. Cosmologists and observatories would without a doubt pay heed, igniting interest inside mainstream researchers and among stargazers around the world. Be that as it may, the particular perceivability and effect on Earth's climate or environmental elements would be less huge contrasted with a nearer cosmic explosion occasion. What about Polaris itself, though? What will happen to it in the event of a supernova? Let me make one thing clear. Giant stars typically die by going supernova, but Polaris is unlikely to die that way. A massive explosion occurs within a massive star when it goes supernova, marking its final cataclysmic phase. This interaction includes a total breakdown of the center, setting off an extraordinary shock wave that makes the star detonate brutally. Be that as it may, Polaris isn't sufficiently monstrous to go through such a blast. All things considered, when Polaris debilitates its atomic fuel, it will shed its external layers and change into a white midget. As it evolves into a tiny, extremely dense stellar remnant, this transformation will not lead to a supernova but rather to a peaceful conclusion. A white midget is the leftover of a low or medium mass star that has depleted its atomic fuel. It is nearly as massive as the sun but compressed to Earth-sized density. At the point when this occurs, we can never again see its remainders from our planet, similar as we notice the star today. Looking at the expected impacts of Polaris overflowed with authentic cosmic explosion events gives significant bits of knowledge into the advancement of stars and their definitive destinies. Contrasting our assumptions and indisputably factual supernovae like SN1054 or SN1987A, and later occasions, for example, SN2011 Fe or SN2014 J, gives important information to figuring out the expected result of Polaris exploded. Cosmic explosion SN1054, for instance, brought about the development of the Crab Cloud, which proceeds to grow and transmit radiation across different frequencies, offering stargazers a rich field for study. Also, SN1987A saw in the enormous Magellanic Cloud gave experiences into the cycles of nucleosynthesis and the elements of cosmic explosion remainders. Examining peculiarities like the development of nebulae, arrival of enormous beams, and varieties in radiance can offer bits of knowledge into Polaris' remarkable attributes. The development of nebulae, similar to the crab cloud, results from the removal of material during the cosmic explosion blast, which interfaces with encompassing interstellar gas and residue, enhancing it with weighty components and adding to the pattern of heavenly birth and passing. Also, the arrival of grandiose beams, high-energy particles advanced by cosmic explosion shock waves, has suggestions for astrophysical cycles and vast radiation conditions. The differences in ejected material mass, composition, and velocity between Polaris' anticipated burst and other observed events are evaluated by scientists in order to make a conclusive comparison. This includes concentrating on the light bends, spectra, and remainders from these occasions and extending comparative attributes for Polaris' expected burst. Surveying whether Polaris' burst could prompt the development of nebulae or unmistakable essential conveyances upgrades how we might interpret its expected results. One more significant area of examination includes assessing the pulsational changeability of stars approaching their end stages, likened to Polaris, 
against noticed cosmic explosion antecedents. This near investigation can assist with measuring likenesses or deviations and give experiences into the burst component. As a clue to the evolutionary processes that lead to supernova explosion, pulsational variability in dying stars may indicate internal instability or imminent catastrophic events. Notwithstanding fastidious perceptions and broad examination, space experts end up baffled by the abnormalities saw in Polaris' way of behaving. The key to understanding stellar evolution is deciphering the unique conditions that cause these irregularities. Understanding the components answerable for Polaris' unpredictable throbs requires interdisciplinary cooperation and the improvement of cutting-edge hypothetical models and observational procedures. The possible loss of Polaris as an urgent reference point in the night sky presents significant worries for galactic undertakings. Ground-based telescopes and divine estimations would require recalibration, influencing the precision of galactic evaluations. Underscoring the significance of this celestial event, the absence of Polaris could also have an impact on navigational systems and cultural practices that depend on celestial landmarks. The baffling way of behaving showed by Polaris highlights the need for more profound examinations.